But the cross exam, boy, her responses were disastrous. Do you hate Donald Trump? Yes, that's a big deal. When the witness hates the person whose liberty is at stake, that's a big damn deal. She's putting out tweets, fantasizing about him being in jail. That really undermines the credibility. The fact that she owes him $500,000 by order of a court, owes Donald Trump a half million dollars and said, I will never pay him. I will defy a court order. The defense is gonna say she's willing to defy a court order. She's not willing to respect an order of a judge. Why is she gonna respect this oath she took? So I thought it went quite poorly. The strategy is in part to show, with all due respect, how messy of a person Stormy Daniels is. And for whatever it's worth, the jury saw that today. For all its good parts and its bad parts, Stormy Daniels is who she is. And she's not a clean witness. And she's not always telling a straight story. She's not always coming across as credible. Maybe she's acting sometimes. There was definitely something that happened, but the nitty gritty details, you're not really sure how much of it is true. She didn't seem to have why she signed the agreement. She shifted from saying, that it was not out of desire for money, it was out of fear that she signed this agreement. She said that she didn't want the story to get out, but then she said she just wanted the story to get out. And then she said she signed it because she figured it was just easier to do this, to stay quiet, to let them buy her silence. I thought that was a little bit confusing, given that is actually what gets to the heart of this, which is the catch and kill aspect of this, that didn't get a lot of clarity in the courtroom today. Joe Biden's losing support from blacks, Hispanics, and now liberal late night seems to be bailing. John Stewart is saying out loud what a lot of liberals are privately thinking, quote, I know you don't want to say it because Trump is so scary, but he's so effing old. When you watch him on television, you're nervous, aren't you? I'm not saying that Biden can't contribute to society. He just shouldn't be president. And actor John Leguizamo is in a panic over Donald Trump's urging support from Latinos. They take us for granted. Republicans are working hard. They were coming at us with ads. They mm -hmm. were coming at us in our Spanish language radio stations with all kinds of trigger words like socialism that triggers Cubans, Venezuelans, and Colombians. They talked our talk. 